I should have taken it, I said. <laughs> Tell you one thing. We must have been at the end of the queue the day role models were gave out, eh? Aye, one good thing, though. At least he'll not take much living up to. Oh. Right, you grab his arms and I'll get his legs. More. Right. Three. Oh, wait for it. No, skip that. <laughs> I'll just get a day of meat. He's a gone with that. In the house. I'll take them upstairs to his pit. What have you got your night on for? Have you got the flu? No, I haven't got the flu. I was trying to put a wee bit of sparkle back into our marriage. Yeah, I need a bit of sparkle back into our marriage, mate. A wee up to Odmans and get a flag in a cider. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you, boys. Never drink. You don't drink, do you, son? No, Mammy. I don't drink. Lying bastard. Shut <laughs> up, you ring. Don't start me. No. I don't even know the taste of this stuff. That's good, son. Just remember this. One drink can send you in a heartbreak road to misery and despair. Mind you, it's all right in moderation. <laughs> Your dad doesn't know the meaning of the word. Your dad doesn't know the meaning of a lot of words. It's not his fault he's a cretin. Oh, I <laughs> trust you to stick up for him. If he's sick. Don't start me, you see. Don't you start me. Right, would you cut that? It's a pain you, that's enough. Have I not got enough on my plate with that eating through there without you two knocking lumps at each other? Hey! 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 I must say something terrible. Shut it, you! Stop trying to act a hard man. <laughs> Never mind. That's her a chance to steep it off and let the news sink in. Maybe he'll come to his senses, eh? Hello there, Mary Doll. Why, oh, cuz I'm a hell of a thirst here. Could you lend us a couple of quid for a drink, Mummy? Come on, Mary Ann. Where have you put the pass? Hey, where have we planked the dosh? What dosh? It's all in my back. A week's family allowing shot trying to put the bloody glint back into the bloodshot eyeballs of yours. Aye, we'll make spaghetti hoops for a week so you can get your nookie. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have a new common sense and save my money and spend it in a shroud. A shroud? Oh, well, you make sure it's a white one. You can see the dark colours. They put about half a stone in you, you know. It's <laughs> not for me. It's for you, you idiot. For me? Ha! Don't you worry about me! I'm all right, mate. I'm all right! Don't you worry about that! Oh, look at that! Hello, you wee beauty! It's no you that I'm worrying about. It's these boys. What's going to happen to them being brought up without a feather? Nice, no sweat more. Well, money's fine up to now. Oh, shut it, you! That's enough! That's Just enough! Damn it! Stop it! Listen, I am not going to stand here and trade slag offs with you. Because I am a sunshine kind of guy, you know. I need to be around happy people. So where is the effing purse before I wreck it out? Try it, Ravnus, but and you'll hit that furnace a damn sight quicker than you bargained for. Show yourself, you. I'm away to get blue <laughs> And I will tell you this, lady. See this body language of yours? You can stick a sock in it. What are you like? Stunning hair, swanking about like a, a bloody hairy and hormones. <laughs> I mean, where's the point of being married? Where's the point? You can't take each other for granted. That's the trouble with life nowadays. Love is just a dirty word. There you are, Mo. Who said the man's was dead? It's <laughs> a matter of interest, Ma. Where'd you plank the purse? Take my advice, son. Never use your carry knickers as a deposit box. <laughs> oh, 
Because I'll tell you, if I want a bloody drink, I want bloody well drink. And you've not got any sweet dog, sweet music. And no bloody doctor's going to frighten me after either. There you are. Hiya. Do you mind join our club? Club? You told me what club? It's called the White Feather Club. It's for scum like ourselves that are shit scared of the drink now, you know. We go in rambles, and then we get high in nature. And anybody that brings an eye, I carry you. You get their heat stove down with a tizer bottle, am I right? Right, right. So what do you say? Back it up! That's what I say! Ah, ah you sure we can't tempt you? Come here. Come here. No, you can't well bloody tempt me. So why don't you take your bunch of chicken feather, chicken hearts, and pick it off out of my face? Go on. Because I will tell you this. I will tell you this. I am a Nesbitt, and a Nesbitt knows no fear. Here you are. Business. Oh, because I take a wee drink, eh? <sighs> Tell you one thing, though. She or a shooting. It does not half give you one hell of a thirst. That's the game, pal. You tell them. There's nothing the matter with a wee drink. Oh. <laughs> Who the hell are you, by the way? Oh, come on, Rav. Use your imagination. <laughs> I'm the Hebe Hebe. <laughs> <laughs> An elephant, you say? An elephant? A bloody big, big elephant? It's you if you're sitting there. That is you sitting there, by the way, Doctor. <laughs> it's just after a whap in the brain like that, well, you know, you can't take anything for granted, you know what I mean? It's all in the mind, Mr Nesbitt. Oh, it's all in the mind, it's all in the mind. Queer thing the mind, isn't it? Hey, you never know what sleek it takes it's going to get up to next. Then you should look after your body, Mr Nesbitt, because a healthy body makes a healthy mind. See, for a doctor, you're a nice smug bastard, aren't you? What's <laughs> on, you're just supposed to reassure the punters. Hey, I mean, what happened to the old bedside manner? Where's the drugs? I mean, I've kept my side of the bargain. I have brought you the disease. It's no bit thing you stopped talking about bikes, got up off your ass and did a bit of curing. <laughs> I told you before, Mr Nesbitt, nature provides the best cure. Your problem is getting the toxins out of your system, not putting more in. Oh, see, you see, it's like that, is it? It's like that. But, of course, if you feel it's all too much for you, I could arrange for you to attend therapy sessions where you would receive counselling and meet with other alcoholics who may be in the same... Alcoholic? I am... I am not an alcoholic! <sighs> Stuff your therapy! See people like you, see people like you, you're right in my nipple end, so you be. <laughs> Sitting there with your mincy wee running shoes and your, and your therapy sessions and, and your counselling. Well, I will tell you this, boy. I will tell you this. You can take your counselling and you can stuff it right up your myelometer. And I will tell you this, boy. I will do this my way. I will walk alone. I don't need help for nobody. Nobody! I say game, Rob. <laughs> you tell him. The time you start, by the way. Tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. I'll be here. Daddy! <laughs> And uh, so to begin. Now, we all know why we're here, because we're all here for the same reason. And that's because we have a drink problem. <clears throat> well, perhaps we should try to get to know one another. And we can begin by telling the group a little bit about ourselves. <laughs> 